Shortly after last week's loss to Michigan State, Kentucky's Drive for Perfection t-shirts went on sale for a buck ninety-nine. It's nice to get that out of the way so the drive for the title can continue without any more distraction. Highly unlikely the University of Texas at Arlington would be handing the Wildcats their next loss. Theme of the night, Mr. Outside, Mr. Inside, James Young. He's going to play the part of Mr. Outside this evening. Young took ten from behind the arc. He made five of them. The freshman with a game high 26 points. And part of Mr. Inside that will be played by Julius Randall. Randall, the first Wildcat since 71 to have double double in his first five games 22 points, 10 boards. Oh, and Young said, Can I play Mr. Inside a little bit too? Oop me, baby. 105 76 Kentucky. NKU hosting the Moorhead State Bank Kentucky Center. Matt Rosenwinkel to Daniel Camp, off balance soup. Camp finished with eight. The North scores 17 turnovers. Played well in the first half. Jalen Billups with a power flush for two of his 11 to lead by one at the break. But NKU turned it over 21 times. Their cell uh, out rebounded by 10. Bakari Turner, two of his 14. More head downs than those. 74 to 61. The Bengals have lost eight men on defense to the injured reserve list, including best cornerback. Maybe the best nose tackle in the game. They have seven wins, though, against four losses. Two and a half game lead on three teams in the AFC North. Now, in week 12, they get to rest. But they didn't make the schedule, but they get three out of the next five at home on the left of the schedule, and it feels pretty good now. You know, it is where it is. We got to take advantage of it. You know, it comes at a good time for us. You know, We've got, you know, 12 somewhat guys that have bumps, bruises, and so forth, and looks like they'll all be ready to go when we get back. So, so that's a good thing. You need to be at the Holy Grail tomorrow night. It only happens once a year that Marvin Lewis joins Bengals Nation live. I'll be there to tape our segment with him for the show. Tony Dye, who returned the block punt for a touchdown, will be our special guest. We'll see you tomorrow, 6 to 8, at the Holy Grail. Great announcement for UC football, agreeing to a home and home with the Miami Hurricanes. Bearcats will travel to South Beach October of 2014. Hurricanes come to the renovated Nippert October of 2015. This week they face stiffer competition in Houston, but Coach Tommy likes his team's focus as they chase win number nine and keep it a conference title within reach. The thing that I've been most impressed with our players is we've kept our focus normally this time of year. 18, 19, 20 year olds start to lose their focus after the grind hits them after about three months. But this group's done well. The seniors have been outstanding. And uh, we continue to get a little bit better all the time. Miami football playing on Tuesday night again this week against 7 and 3 Buffalo, top of the MAC East. Bulls, Joe Licata, easy ones. Alex Dennison, 7 0. It was 14 0. From the 10, Brandon Oliver untouched into the end zone, 21 0. Not good on defense, worse on offense. Sacked, fumbled. LaCoya Houston picks up the fumble, rambles 60 yards for the score. Miami 0 and 11, 44 7 year final. Morning affair with Evansville today, U.S. Bank. Education and hockey, this is part of where the kids need to hide their eyes. All knotted up at one, it went to a shootout. Clones goalie Rob Maduri stopped all five. Philippe Cornette, the only one of the 10 in the shootout to score. Clones win 2 to 1 in the shootout. They improved to 9 and 3 on the year.